but I feel like what happens is like I'm like oh yeah that's wow that's really cool I really agree with that Fishes. No, not usually. Bears eat fish. Oh. What tacos eat then? Hmm. Little, an smaller animals than them? Oh. I think. We have some turtle drama this morning. Uh, yesterday, you know, we found a turtle in our yard, and then I guess Memory or Felia released it and Rainier was really sad about it. So we said, Rainier, why don't you go look for it in our yard? It's not like that big. Flea said, well, this is a fast turtle. So they went and looked for it, and sure enough, 10 minutes later, look who we found again. Oh, that's nice. Oh, don't, oh, don't, oh, don't. How did you find it? What was he doing? Um, well, he, I, I was trying to move pieces of wood, and I moved these two boards, and he was under it, and saw it. What was he doing? He was, like, eating something, and he had, like, he, stuff in his mouth. He was and eating his he breakfast. had a slug. He had a slug in his mouth? Yes. Oh, don't let him go in the street. Okay, so my friend Avery and I had a sleepover last night, and because we didn't really want to worry about being like too loud for other people, we decided to set up a tent under the gazebo. We did it under the gazebo because it was gonna it rained at like 3 a.m. And this is our setup. Which is really nice. Got a bunch of candy back there. Most, most of it's gone. So nice. <laughs> It's a lot more comfortable than an AT. We have several layers. There's like the foam. Yeah. And then the mats and then the blanket. And we also had a fan that we didn't really need because it was pretty chilly last oh, night. And we then it rained back like there. Alright. That's it. I can put my spots up on the ball. And I can put them on a wall. Alright, ready for lunch? Yeah. Bye. Where's your turtle? Should I drive? Oh, let me see. What the heck? I don't know if he likes it. got back from lunch there was a lot a lot to take in we talked a lot about how to further my photography endeavors or career that was really good everything my dad says I like pretty much 100% agree with and like think is really valuable but I feel like what happens is like, I'm like, oh yeah, that's, wow, that's really cool. I really agree with that. And then like, I feel like it, nothing changes with me. And I know that's kind of not true. Like I do change, like little things do happen from those, the words, stuff he says that impacts me, but not enough. I don't think it changed. I, I change enough from what he says or like, I just, I just don't take it seriously enough and I'm really tired of like uh, this is the time where like where something's gonna happen because I don't even know what I'm waiting for to happen just figuring out how to get better and better really the thing I want to learn and to get better at is just how to set goals for myself and do them and do them on time and then be disciplined to do goals that I really don't want to do. And that's something he said that it was encouraging to me was he didn't start learning to put himself in that mindset till he was like in his 30s. So not for me not to feel too crappy about not being able to 
be disciplined enough, but I mean, I mean, it still is. I, I feel like I still need to crack down on myself about that. Another thing he said that was helpful for me to hear in terms of like how we do school differently is that the reason why they kind of don't want or, or they aren't really being our bosses in terms of like schoolwork and stuff like that is they want us to actually learn how to do this and to start learning at a young age. I don't know, something about that was helpful for me to hear because sometimes I feel like all these other kids are giving, being given assignments by their parents, all those who are homeschooled and those who aren't, even more assignments from public school or something like that. And we're just here like hanging out, doing vlog stuff, not really doing the traditional type of way of living. Yeah, it was a good lunch. Mm. Oh, at first I was like rice, but it's fried rice. It's your favorite. Fried rice, yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I got Rainier some new Play-Doh today. Both him and Felia, but all of his Play-Doh turned black since he mixed them all together. So he's pretty excited to play with this. Hey, watch out guys, some of that wood can fall down, okay? Hey. It's not super secure. That's all the firewood that got dropped off the other day. And look at my uh, fire roasted artichokes. Yeah. Gonna dip those in some blue cheese balsamic dressing. We got some corn on the cob going there. Dove made Caesar salad in here. We ready to eat? Yeah. Let's start. Alright, here's our chips. Mama, what is it? Oh. 